The second epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 10. To stop the calumny and boasting of false apostles, he sets forth the power of his apostleship. Now I, Paul, myself beseech you by the mildness and modesty of Christ, who in presence indeed am lowly among you, but being absent am bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I am thought to be bold against some who reckon us as if we walked according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to gold. Unto the pulling down of fortifications, destroying councils, and every height that exalted itself against the knowledge of gold, and bringing into captivity every understanding unto the obedience of Christ, and having in readiness to revenge all disobedience, when your obedience shall be fulfilled. See the things that are according to outward appearance. If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him think this again with himself, that as he is Christ, so are we also. For if also I should boast somewhat more of our power, which the Lord hath given us unto edification, and not for your destruction, I should not be ashamed, but that I may be thought, as it were, to terrify you by epistles. For his epistles indeed say they are weighty and strong, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. Let such a one think this, that such as we are, are inward by epistles, when absent, such also we will be, indeed when present. For we dare not match or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves, but we measure ourselves by ourselves, and compare ourselves with ourselves. But we will not glory beyond our measure, but according to the measure of the rule which God hath measured to us, a measure to reach even unto you. For we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure, as if we reached not unto you. For we are come as far as to you in the gospel of Christ not glorying beyond measure in other men's labors, but having hope of your increasing faith to be magnified in you according to our rule abundantly. Yeah, unto those places that are beyond you to preach the gospel, not to glory in another man's rule in those things that are made ready to our hand. But he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. For not he who commendeth himself is approved, but he whom God commendeth. Hey, hey, hey.